folks, welcome to another Boats and Bits. In this episode, I'm going to have a look at a, was a HBT250P welder. You may ask why I bought a welder. Well, I had a bit of diffs with my boom, which is the end of it. The gooseneck is made out of cast aluminium. Uh, and one day I was had the sail rolled up around it and was pushing it just to get a new main, uh, main sheet on. And all I heard was crack and one of the ends broke off and I should be able to show a picture up here uh, so that's it, I had a bit of fibreglass on to keep it from cracking too bad but the whole bit was broke off so I had to actually do something uh, trying to get welders locally is a bit of a problem um, they do charge a fortune uh, so I thought hmm wonder could I weld it myself so I looked a bit more into it and figured out I needed to get a TIG welder and specifically uh, ACDC uh, TIG welder, so the reason we needed the ACDC one is that AC is used for aluminium uh, and as this is cast aluminium I would need to be using AC um, and that sort of gives you two phases and it gives you like a cleaning and then a penetration. Um, I'm not going to go into the whole weld and I'm going to teach you to weld in this video. I uh, just want to show you this is uh, a cheap welder I got off AliExpress and I want to show you some of the results I got with my gooseneck uh, which has been working now for most of the season. Um, unfortunately I didn't get videos of it beforehand or during but I got a couple of snaps which I'll put up here. So this is basically as I started welding and you can see where I've put on the wee, uh, just a wee bit of aluminium block uh, got it just a bar and cut it to the size and then what I did was grind it down so I got the grinder so I should have the photos there um, so that's that, so that worked very well uh, so yeah you can see where I've welded here just on the boom end of the boom and how it connects on uh, bit of a shame I didn't take a video beforehand but basically this is all broke away here and um, so I showed the photograph previously uh, where I just got a bit, bit lump of aluminium welded it on here um, and then ground down to shape. As you can kind of see the older one, which is a bit more beat, <laughs> doesn't look that much different. In fact, the new one looks pretty nice, so it's a bit beefier and stuff you can see in there. Um, we've been through some rough weather and we haven't had any issues so far, so I'm hoping it holds out well. That's it, HB 250, so you've got this, and then the, the buttons you can press here and this, these buttons here do different stuff and all the rest. I'm not going to go into all that there, you can get that in the manual which I'll stick a link to down below. Uh, there's menus so you can flick through like this here, so there's all the, like the AC frequencies. That's your balance, so basically much penetration versus cleaning and then your slopes, how many seconds and then your finish amps. And I have a bit of aluminium filler, so I'm just going to do a wee bead. Here's button, that's the AC to open it and tie it. But as you can see, you can get a bit of a bead going there alright. So that's just, uh, I suppose about 2 mil aluminium, maybe not even. Uh, so it didn't turn out too bad, quite happy with the strength and all the rest. Now there's a few things I did find along the way and it, one of the things is aluminium is very very sensitive to heat so once it starts heating up it'll just stay hot and the problem there is it'll just keep heating up so what you end up is with just this blob. So we've had a couple of burn throughs where the whole thing just went things like that so I had to grind it back and start again. Uh, so you're better doing a wee bit I found and then go over it again quickly. Uh, there is the wee pedal I just haven't mastered that where you sort of start off high amps and then once you've got the, the thing going then you, you lower it down but again I couldn't figure that out yet. Um, plenty of time to do that. Um, but yes the thing about a boat is obviously you've got a lot of stainless and you've got a lot of aluminium so a, a welder if you're paying someone's going to be over 100 quid a time so I suppose all in all I've spent what 200 uh, on the welder 150 in the gas so it's like 100 quid deposit for the bottle for the argon and 50 pound for the actual gas itself so there's another 150 and then I suppose another 100 and other bits and pieces so you're talking the guts of f 400 anyway um, but as counted as a long-term investment and the welder seems to be very good it gets good reviews elsewhere for the price so it's priced AC one about uh, so I'll stick a link down below and um, we can find out more and certainly if you want to learn TIG well I would try as low to 
YouTube channels on the subject. I'm not going to go into that there because the guys, uh, if you ever look at the comments in the YouTube channel, welders do not take well to newbies. So I'm certainly not going to get slated on here. Um, but again this wasn't any structural stuff the wee end bit has been through a few crash jibes and survived all right so i'm happy enough uh, but it does show you can sort of pick up stuff and fix it yourself and i think being able to self-sufficient and fix that thing is going to definitely be a lot cheaper in the long run um but thanks for watching folks uh, if you have any comments certainly i always enjoy reading them um and if you wish to click a like as always appreciated and if you click the subscribe button to follow any other future videos all right thanks again cheers bye